I am Leah and I am the owner and artisan at Leah Noel Design Co. And today I am going to show you how to blend two water-based paints together on a piece of furniture. So I get asked all the time if you have to use the same brand when you're blending. And the answer is no, you don't. Just make sure your paint is both water-based. So what I'm using, I'm actually using three different brands here. I'm using Wise Owl and this is Inkwell and this is for the bottom. And then for the top here, I wanted a metallic, but I wanted a metallic purple and I couldn't find one. So I'm using I Love Hues Vintage Berry. And I mixed that in a 50-50 mix with, this is Dixie Belle's Metallic Silver Base Coat. This is a really old product. They don't even make it anymore. Um, so I just mixed those together. I had it on my shelf. They're all water-based and they're blending beautifully and I'm having no issues. So this was prepped with primer. And I'm going to go ahead and just get my paint going here. I'm going to blend this up. Now, the thing about blending these two colors together is they will blend, um, they will blend pretty well together because, I mean, you have to use blue to make purple, but the, the shades are kind of far off. So they're going to be a little bit more of a challenge to blend because this is so much darker than this color. Um, but it's going to be worth it. So let's get started. I have a redesign with Prima mold here. This is um, uh, Lace 2 from the CC Restyled collection. And by the time you're seeing this video, it will be released. But I wanted to use this and incorporate this on the bottom here. So I do have a video as well of how to trim um, your molds around here. And this is also blending on top of a mold. So that makes it a little bit more challenging. But overall, I think, I think you'll be able to get it. It's just, it's a good concept and this would work pretty much anywhere. I'm just gonna take my paint and I'm going to apply it just a little bit above my mold. And I just am making sure, this is the second coat. So I'm just making sure that I don't have any of my primer showing through. So I'm just stippling my paint in that mold to make sure of that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna take my purpley mix that I have here and I'm going to go ahead and give this a coat because I want more coverage. I like to get it wet just to kind of let the paint move around a little more. pulling this purple down. And now I have them, I have a wet coat of the purple and a wet coat of the blue right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wet it just so I can get my colors running together a little more. And I'm gonna take my purple brush because it's my lighter color. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do kind of like a cross hatch technique just to kind of get those colors to start coming together. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush with a towel. Okay, I'm gonna pull as much paint off of my brush as I can. And I'm going to come through and just kind of sweep over it again. And again, I'm going to wipe my brush off. So the key here is just to keep your brush as clean as you can, because um, that's what helps your paint from not muddying up. I'm going to use a little bit more water because I can see it's getting a little dry. And I'm trying not to go down on that mold because that's like a pretty clear line for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and work this paint back up softly. Okay. 
I'm gonna wipe my brush yet again. And I'm just using like a cross hatch technique with a really light hand. And I am blending a solid color, a solid chalk paint color into a different brand, uh, a different brand that I mixed two brands of a metallic color here. Um, and look at how well it's working, you guys. You don't have to use the same brand together. Sometimes it works better. Um, and if you're a beginner, that might be a good way for you to start, but you don't have to. One of the other little tricks I have is using a flat round brush. So this is a synthetic brush and this is from, um, this is from Wiesel. This is their Slav brush actually. And it's meant for wax, but I've never used it in wax. Probably never will because it works better for me. It's a great tool to have in your toolbox for paint. So I'm just going to use a really light hand and I'm just going to go over this. And this is just going to make my, my lines disappear a little bit and just have like the most perfect blend, especially in like those harder spots. There you go. We're done. So now I can move on to my next part. I hope that was super helpful in helping you blend different brands together. Please like and subscribe for more videos just like this.